What are the typical best practices customers should keep in mind when they are implementing ATP in SAP S4 HANA? Right, so I think uh, from an implementation standpoint, if you ask me, <clears throat> the way the solution has been designed, it is very, very simple. Everything is, is this configuration. So I think more than how to implement the tool or the solution, uh, what the companies really need to look for is they need to understand what are the, what is the order promising philosophy that they do have. Do they really want to provide the real-time promise check? Or as Sujit was saying, maybe I want to run a bad job multiple times a day wherein I want to consolidate all the orders, I want to reprioritize and then provide the promise date. Then is my order promising philosophy says that, do I need to put some kind of a uh, check on top of that, like the toilet paper example or a sanitizer mm -hmm. example that we were talking about. Does my philosophy say that, okay, if a customer comes to me for a specific, say a retailer, and if that is not available, can I propose the customer that, hey, you know what, the, let's say the dress that you want is available with another retailer and I'll get that from you, right? So there are, uh, so first of all, the company needs to really understand what is the order promising philosophy that they do have. And it is also important because it really touches the core of your business, which is the sales. It really touches your end customer. And that's why these aspects are more important than the solution itself. The solution is quite simple, easy to configure. So I don't think there would be any challenges as well, far as implementing the solution is concerned. Is, um, do you have, is it their industry specific ATP? Or is it industry specific once you get into AATP? Right. Are there so, bolt-ons or add-ons or I don't know. I was just curious about that. So that's a, that's a good point, uh, Kendall. Um, so what happens is that every industry has its own nuances. I mean, the way, for example, a high-tech industry works is different than the way an automotive industry works mm -hmm. or different than a retail industry works and very different than a, a steel industry works. So each of them have their own nuances with regards to how they would want to provide promise to their customers. The beauty is all these industry specific capabilities are available within the solution without installing any add-on or oh, typically cool. in SAP, we call it as you need to activate the switch, but here you don't even have that. So what that basically means is that if a functionality was delivered for say, a fashion industry, but an automotive industry thinks that, oh yes, this functionality looks interesting and I could possibly use it, then absolutely you can use it. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. 